side getting that thing off. Man, just taking off my COVID mask there. Hey, Jason Schron here from Rapido Trains, Inc. I am in my office to tell you Jason, about get, the... get this thing out of here. We don't need C-3PO in this video. It's not C-3PO, you think not. It's just... I'm here to tell you about the N-Scale Canadian. Um, these are our uh, hand-painted pre-production samples. They are still early samples, but they look pretty good. Um, and I want to show you the different cars that come in the train. We've tooled seven, actually, no, we've tooled nine different car styles for the Canadian. There are nine. There are nine, nine different cars. <laughs> there are nine different cars for the Canadian. Um, and uh, the Canadian's near and dear to my heart because um, it's still running today. Well, um, apart from COVID, it's still running today uh, with the original Bud equipment that was, it was introduced with back in 1955. Um, and uh, they've been refurbished many times. But uh, it, I take the Canadian twice a year with my family to see uh, my in-laws in Winnipeg. So it's, it's a very important train to me. And I'm, I'm very proud to show you this, these samples and show you some of the features. And then we'll, uh, we'll watch it running a bit. And uh, keep in mind, the order deadline is October 15th, uh, 2020. If you're watching after that, I'm sure there are opportunities for you to find this train either from your hobby shop or from the, uh, the eBay market, shall we say. Okay, let's get right to it. We're gonna start off here with the baggage dormitory. In later years, this was converted to a full baggage. You can see it's got the, uh, the baggage uh, room at one end, you've got the dormitory in the other. Um, this is the Via Canada scheme, so it's got its uh, head end power uh, details on the end of the car. Um, and uh, there's the other side there. Some notable uh, things are the separate wire grab irons and ladder rests on the roof. And we've got um, etched metal stirrups, which is very obvious when you look underneath the baggage door there. This is a model we have coming in out in uh, HO as well, don't we? Yes, we're doing this in HO as well. The next car is the coach. Um, so the 60 seat coaches was uh, uh, about 29 of them were in the fleet. Um, and uh, it is a very common bud long distance coach. I mean, it's, uh, it would be considered to be a Danetter coach in most circles, but with CP, it was just a coach. Um, and uh, again, you've got your etched metal stirrups, including right by the vestibule door. Um, you've got the uh, very, very, very fine etched metal stirrups over there. Um, you can see on the end of the car, we've got the etched metal end gates uh, on the end of the car. That's on, on both uh, ends, if you can see that there, right? So just the, these little kinds of details um, add a, a certain something to, uh, to the cars. And then if you look on the other side, um, you've got the 41 NDO 11 trucks with your Rollicon control. Those are the big things sticking up out of the outsides of your of your truck. So it's uh, it's very very accurate for the Canadian. Hey, move your fingers. Oh, sorry. Okay, good. Are we good? Very good. All right. Um, here we have the Skyline, um, and this is your mid train dome. We've actually tooled two different interior variations for the Skyline. This is the later version, which is still in use today. Which um, what happened was the uh, Via Rail turned the Skyline around 1982 and made the lounge the front of the Skyline, and the seats were turned to face that way with a couple of tables up in the dome. And then what used to be coach seating at this end is now a coffee shop. So the interior reflects that, and then the, the car itself, the, the dome seating will reflect that as well. And you can look at, I'm really, really happy with how the fluting has come out. We've gone super, super fine on our stainless steel fluting here. Because um, uh, it's very hard to, to we, we wrote it on the mold using uh, EDM, electrical discharge machining. It's very hard to do that super fine fluting on the roof. And I think it's, it's come out really, really nicely. Here's um, the interior of, I've got the shell too. Um, of an earlier Skyline, there's a CP, and this shell wasn't totally finished, so I didn't want to show it off as a complete car. Um, but uh, this goes an idea, excuse the wibble, when it's installed in the shell, it, it straightens up, the shell straightens the, the underbody. Um, and this is the original configuration, so you've got the coach seating in the front with a lounge in the back, so you see you've got the vestibule at the front there. So uh, the Skylines are now operated with the vestibule to the rear, but uh, they used to be operated vestibule to the, to the front. And you can see the level of detail we've got in even something like, you can't even see the kitchen at all. Um, and we've got full kitchen detail, and including the fact there used to be lounge seating, uh, like a coffee shop seating under there, whereas later on it was up here. We even include that um, uh, in, your, uh, in your interior. Even if you can't see it, there's no way to see in there. We do have interior lights, which I'll show you in a minute, but. You, it's still very hard to see that. 
Um, the dining cars on the Canadian were named after um, di- very famous dining rooms across Canada. So things like uh, Frontenac for the Chateau Frontenac in Quebec City or York for the Royal York in Toronto. Very famous hotel dining rooms. Um, and these, this is a chock full of detail. Um, I'll show you off that, show that in the lighting. Um, the dining, room, dining cars do not have vestibules, but they do have a uh, neat little access door there to the kitchen with the fabulous etched stirrup. You can see how the, um, the, the, the stainless steel finish really comes out well here. It catches the light beautifully. Um, and with, they're a little bit wibbly on these early samples, but we are using etched metal uh, name plates on these cars. That way that um, if you're getting the, uh, the three car set, um, you'll have all the, the different etched metal length, uh, name sizes with a selection of decals. So you'll be able to do your own cars by putting the decals onto those etched metal em- uh, name plates. So the name plates, unfortunately, uh, CP wasn't very nice. They're all different lengths. So that's why we have to include a little bag full of all different lengths on those, on those three car sets. I should mention, I'm talking about three car sets. You can get the Canadian in a, a uh, 10 piece train. We've got seven here showing you, but you've actually got two coaches two Chateau sleepers and two Manor sleepers, but you can also increase your fleet with three car sets. Each one contains a coach, a Manor, and a Chateau. So those ones come with uh, your own name plates to put on yourself. Okay, let's go into our first of our two and a half sleepers here. The Chateau sleeper is my favorite type of sleeping car still in service in Canada. It's got your uh, eight duplex roomettes. You've got a uh, drawing room, three double bedrooms, and sections uh, at the other end. And that, that roomette there is my favorite way to travel across Canada because it's an upper roomette. They're so cozy. I love how everything's the, the seats fold down, the seat, uh, the, the bed folds down from the wall. Your, your sink folds out from the wall. It's so cozy. And because it's in the middle of the car, it's, a, it's the, the smoothest ride of any roomette. And I'm always, if ever uh, a Chateau sleepers on the Canadian, I always try and get us into roomettes in the Chateau. But usually we got manor sleepers, unfortunately. Well, they're, they're good too. The drawing room, individual seats inside. They're molded into the floor, but they've got full detailed armrests, etc. And then of course, you've got all that detail on the end, the 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 uh, end gates, head and power details for head and power cars, and those beautiful uh, etched. With the, we're actually using etched ladder rests on the roof. I don't know if you can see that there, Jordan. Um, it's it's really 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 fine. Um, and you really think when you look at the separate uh, handrails uh, by the door, you really feel like um, I'll show you on this one too. Uh, you really feel like this is an HO scale model. Certainly in terms of the detail, um, it's like an HO scale model. So this is a manor sleeper. A manor sleeper has got, uh, starting from the uh, the cheapest, the most expensive, it's got the sections um, at this end. It's got the roomettes, four roomettes over here. It's got five double bedrooms um, and a compartment. And uh, they do that right. It was the compartment at this end. Hang on, which let me, this is the vestibule over here. The vestibule's at the back. Yes, that was right. So the compartment's over here. So uh, that's bedroom F today on the Canadian. Uh, is a clue if you can ever get on, get yourself onto the Canadian, and you're going in a bedroom, always ask for bedroom F. It's 18 inches bigger. It doesn't cost any more money these days. It was a compartment originally, but now it's just treated as a regular bedroom. So it's the same price, bigger room. Um, and you can get E and F is a double. Uh, when I go with my kids, there's there's four of us. My wife generally is in the roomette, um, and uh, we get E and F, and it's a really really big room. We open up the wall between us, and I think you'll see. Hopefully, you can see it here, Jordan. Um, there's a corridor on this side opposite the bedrooms, and we actually have a separate handrail inside the car. Can you see that there? There's a, the, the the handrail inside the car. Um, for that corridor, which is, uh, that, that's really cool. You want me to flip it there for you? Is that, is that better? So you see, okay, good. So you can see that, that handrail. So we go, our, the, the detail is, is nuts inside and out. Um, really, really happy with how this is turning out. And we also have those coming back in HO scale. Yeah, the Manor Sleepers are coming. Are coming cause they, and the Canadian, by the way, uh, the Canadian at, at its peak could have as many as 12 Manor Sleepers. So it's a, it's, you need a lot of manor sleepers for the Canadian. Generally, you have more chateaus in recent days. The chateaus are more in the east, the manors in the west. But during uh, CP and sort of uh, up to early to mid-90s via, 
it was a real mix. The Canadian would have a, an almost even mix of chateaus and manors. And the longest Canadian was about 31 cars, and that was 2005. So if you want to order a few sets and have a 30-car Canadian, that would be amazing. Um, this is the park car. It's the most famous car on the Canadian, probably, um, because it's got uh, three bedrooms, a drawing room. It's got downstairs, there is the mural lounge, and then it's got a uh, the bullet lounge observation, and it's got the dome inside. Uh, we don't have lighted samples of this yet, but we will get them, I'm sure, soon. Um, and, but we've got lighting in the dome as well as lighting um, down below. And on our models, uh, you'll have the working marker lights as well. So I wish we had a, a lit sample, but it wasn't ready. Let me get my little magnet thing to show you all of those separate stirrups and, and grab irons at the back. Like it really shows off there. It really shows off that that uh, a level of detail that you wouldn't have like even ten years ago you wouldn't expect that in, in N scale. I think our our handrails were all molded on. But is uh, it sixteen times the detail? It is sixteen. You're really into that failed video game. I yeah, know. it's sixteen times. That's the because detail. I bought it. <laughs> all right. So um, and you can see you've got the the the, the frosted glass in the window. And that's the sort of thing. The, the level of detail. And we're going to put on the accurate length name plates for. Um, for every car um, and, and the different uh, typefaces too on the cars. So um, uh, the, the can of the scheme has a slightly different font that was used in the earlier scheme, that sort of thing. So that's the level of detail that we have there. Okay, the last two cars I'm going to show you uh, are actually have never been done in any scale before. Um, the first one is the rebuilt Chateau Sleeper. Um, and this was modified where instead of having the mix of the other Chateau Sleeper, you can still see the corridor side still looks the same, including having blanked windows, um, the upper duplex windows. But on the inside, on the, other, sorry, the, the other side, the bedroom side, what we have now is six huge bedrooms with uh, each with its own ensuite shower and queen size bed. <clears throat> and uh, and it, it's just gorgeous. I, my kids love going through the new chateaus because they smell like leather. <laughs> Even though they've been they've been in service now for what about seven years, they still smell like new leather. It's it's wonderful. Um, so, uh, so there's the rebuilt chateau sleeper there. Uh, this is for Via Rail's Prestige. You can see the Via Rail Prestige cars have a, uh, a charcoal gray leather band, a band, and they've got no um, Canada on the side. And then you've got the park car with which has a uh, an accessible um, bedroom, a large bedroom there, and another beautiful bedroom. Um, so there's the, uh, the Prestige Park, uh, pre-production sample, not 100% ready yet, um, but it's coming along. And, uh, and of course, different colored interiors, the whole, the whole, all the nice, wonderful earth tones in the Prestige cars are going to be represented on the, in the under, and the interior detail. Um, what I'm going to do now is show you an example of underbody detail in these cars. So have a look here. I think it's very important with uh, with repeatable models that I mean we always joke that they look great when they uh, derail and roll down a hill, but um, the level of detail that we put into these cars is phenomenal. So you've got your uh, Frigidaire AC equipment, you've got your battery boxes, you've got your Genom motor, you've got a shaft guard for the Genom motor. That's a separate piece. I mean, if you see that Jordan, that little uh, loop there that sort of stops the uh, the shaft that going to the axle from falling down onto the track and sending the car up in the air. Um, you've got your alternator for your AC lighting. You've got your pull boxes, your main junction boxes, um, and, uh, and your, your D22 brake equipment is visible. I mean, this is, there, there you go. There's your D22 combined reservoir, your D22 uh, uh, master control valve, relay valve, quick service valve, uh, your water tank, the bigger water tank. We actually got this right on, um, on these cars and we made a mistake in HO. Um, as you can see on the coach, we have, it's a smaller water tank on the coach. And on the HO model, we put the same size water tank on all of them. And the N scale model, we got it right. So there's, it's a, we found a way to improve um, the, uh, the N scale models. So that's a right. reminder, folks. When you buy your HO scale Chateau sleepers, it's wrong. I will look into, into, I don't know if it's the coach has got a too long one or the sleeper's got a too short one. We'll, uh, we'll look into that. And I'm, I'm sure we can fix that at some point. Maybe. Anyway, so uh, the, the unique CP style bud battery boxes, um, it's like, the, I love the level of detail on these things. We're in the boardroom now because we have a DCC system here and I want to show you the lighting. Um, unlike a lot of N-scale passenger trains, um, these come with factory installed lighting. They work on DC and DCC. Uh, the default is for them to be on, um, but you can turn them off with the repeater lighter, which is included, and a lot of people have copied this, but we were the first ones. Um, if you want to come in close there, Jordan, I'll show you how we've got all that beautiful detail uh, visible inside the dining car 
and we wave it over the top and lights go off. So if you've got a DCC system, you wanna park this in the yard, you can just wave your Rapido lighter over it and get the lights off. Here we've got the Prestige Chateau. The interior is really shown off nicely through those huge windows. You gotta have lighting on a car like this. So that's, that comes from the factory, it works in DC or DCC. Um, they also have working marker lights. These samples don't have them yet, but we will have them from, from the factory. And you can, uh, they'll, you can turn those on and off with the lighter as well. And if we'll, we'll show you an LRC clip or watch the LRC video to see how that works. The other thing I wanna show you is the packaging. This is the packaging for the, um, the Virgin Pendolino, which is an award-winning model, multiple award-winning model we made for the UK. But this is how your uh, Canadian's gonna arrive. It's gonna arrive with a lovely slip case and two hardcover books inside. And you can open up the hardcover book inside and uh, they've got more decoration. Um, like it's really, it's a really gorgeous package, right? And then you open up the foam and so that's where you're gonna have five cars in one of these and five cars in the other. The three car sets will come in jewel cases, but the five, the 10 car sets come in this beautiful set with this wonderful uh, EPDM uh, foam or EVA, EVA foam, very, very high density foam. Um, and then you can have it nicely on your bookcase with all of your uh, N scale model trains, um, just like that, either that way or that way. So this will be decorated. I'm sure Josh is gonna do a great job with the design to get a real Canadian flavor design on here. Um, and it's gonna be gorgeous in your collection. By the way, if you can find any Pendolinos, if you don't have one of those, it's great for your collection too. Um, so that is, uh, in a nutshell, our N-Scale Canadian. We're all very proud of this train and we hope that you will um, order a train and additional cars. We're also doing extra Skylines um, individually, so you can increase, have a skyline on your Atlantic Limited or whatever. Um, and uh, yeah, and uh, please place your order by October 15th. And uh, we hope it'll uh, serve your layout well for many years to come. Thanks a lot.